guys, welcome. I've got a shit ton of stuff to go through and I'm going to be doing an old school star rating, like a restaurant. Starting with the Revive Light Therapy Glow Device. This retailed for $68. And here's the thing with this guy. I saw no noticeable results. I followed the instructions exactly as they directed me. Um, I am in the field of skincare. For me, this just wasn't cutting it. I know there is science behind light therapy. I'm not saying that it doesn't work, but this device is definitely not doing it justice. On top of that, it's not easy to use. So you're supposed to turn on the device and place it in the area that you would like to treat and you need to hold it there for three minutes. So imagine if you wanted to do your whole face, that would be three minutes here, three minutes here, three minutes here. It would take three hours to do your whole face and neck. This is basically a spot treat only. What worsens this for me is Revive is a professional brand. However, these results are not reflecting a professional treatment in my opinion. So this is getting a one star. The Tarte H2O Moisturizer, that retails for $39. I do not have this physically in my hands. I will throw up a photo. So this was an old favorite of mine. I adored it when I first started using high-end skincare. Now, as you go through your skincare journey, your skin may change. So back then I had extremely oily skin and now it's much more combination. In the winter, my skin gets much drier and in the summertime, even at its hottest, I do not get near as oily as I used to. That being said, while this moisturizer is fantastic for like super oily skin, it's got a beautiful gel texture. It has incredible ingredients and I love the way it sinks to the skin. It is just not enough moisture for me. It just did not give me the results that I used to see. So I did use about half of it and then passed it on to someone else because I wasn't gonna keep an open jar of moisturizer for an entire year after I got it just so I could have the physical product to show you and then pass it on. And that's getting a two star from me. But if you do have extremely oily skin, definitely check it out. Then we have the Amber Seats Necklace retailing for $50. So this is an item that I've gotten quite a lot of use out of. I love wearing it. The only thing that bugs me about this product is that it tangles out the ass. Because it is a double chain necklace, I mean, I'll just be sitting all day and look in the mirror and somehow it's wrapped itself around the smaller chain like eight times. I have a, like one other double chain necklace and it does the same thing to me. So I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. But I love this so much that I'm not taking off a star for that reason. So this stays at five stars. The Jabonera Marinella Body Oil. You can see how much I've used there. The line is right here. Now this one's gonna take a little bit of explaining. For a little over a year now, I have been having all over body hive allergic reactions. And we're not exactly sure what the cause is. It started from a foreign oil being used on me. Not foreign as in like foreign, like from a different country, but foreign as in we have no idea what was in it. But it was used on me during a massage and that's when I had my first reaction. So because of that, I was constantly going through all of my beauty products and getting rid of things. I was like, oh, I'm positive I'm allergic to this. And then it would turn out I could use it later and I wouldn't have a reaction or I'd have a reaction even when I use nothing on my skin. It's a whole big stressful deal. But every time I freaking say this, I get a high breakout the next day. So I'm not going to say it, but I have not had one for like a month. So, but I thought I was allergic to some ingredient that was in here. And if that were not the case, this 100, I can say with 100% confidence that this would have been empty because I loved this so much. I do love it very, very much. So this is a dry oil and it's not greasy, but because of that, you do have to use quite a lot of it. So my favorite thing to do is to mix this in with body lotion after I get out of the shower. So I probably use two parts body lotion one part this, and this helps add a nice dose of hydration as well as really good ingredients. I figured out a way to describe this scent. It smells like lemon drops. If you know what those are, like the candy 
comment down below. So this is definitely a five star product. Even if it turned out I was allergic to an ingredient within this product or anything else that I talk about, I'm not removing a star for it. The Epari Salt Mill, man, I should have cleaned this before I showed this to you guys. It is grimy. Retailing for $21.95. This product and the brand itself makes really sturdy, high quality, inexpensive, kitchen products. A few of my favorite things about this product is the fact that it has dual chambers, so it's space saving. It's got the clear windows and the lids which keep any of the spices from getting everywhere and they do stay on. They are not, um, they don't easily pop off. It also has adjustable knobs so that you can decide how large or how small of a grain of the spice that you want to come out. This has been a really nice addition to our kitchen, so it's a five star as well. Then we have the This Works Body Cocoon, retailing for $40, and you guys are actually going to be surprised. I wrote this off almost immediately when I received it in the box because the lavender fragrance inside this product is very offensive. Now I still stand by that. It definitely is not a suitable all over body lotion for me because number one, the fragrance is just far too much. And it's also not super moisturizing. It's got a nice pillow like gel cream texture that softens and smooths your skin, but it's not really going to combat that tight dryness that you get after you've been in the hot shower. But I did find an incredible use for this and that is aromatherapy. So if you put this on, what I do is like right here on my forearms before I go to bed. Works really well for sleep, just the aromatic properties of it having such an intense lavender scent. So if you're someone that's looking for a product like that, I highly recommend this. It's quite pricey. It is called the Deep Sleep Body Cocoon. So technically that is its purpose. I just kind of looked at it and was like, oh, body lotion, but it's actually quite special. So I'm going to go with four. She surprised me. The Chic and Tonic Rubber Straws for $15. Here we go. So here's the deal with these bad boys. The silicone is an extremely strange texture to drink from. And it's not just me. Any guests that I have over that have used these straws have stated the same thing. It just feels weird. I really can't explain it to you unless you've tried it for yourself. It just doesn't feel right. Now, not only that, the silicone picks up a lot of dirt and debris. So if you set these inside, I'm gonna stop holding these around cause I'm just gonna use them to talk. Expect it to just pick up any little thing that's kind of hanging out in your drawer there. This cleaning brush is also really horribly designed for these straws because it gets stuck. Like it's very difficult to put in and very difficult. To, I mean, it's like fully stuck in there. To be honest, I'm not even sure. At first I couldn't find the cleaning brush for the straws. So I'm not entirely sure if this is the one that went to it. No matter what, whichever brush came with it got stuck. It just may not be as bad as this one because I don't remember buying a brush like this though. Now you can throw these in the dishwasher. I don't have a large use for them. I have been forcing myself to use them to stir my drinks. Unfortunately, it's going to be a one star rating. Now the Pure Lease Polishing Peel is another thing I don't have, but I did completely finish it. I just threw it away. <laughs> It retails for $35. I completely forgot I was keeping my empty products for this video. Now, remember we talked about this. Number one, it's not a peel. It is a physical exfoliator with chemical exfoliators in it. When I tested this product in the video on my hand, I knew immediately it was going to be extremely harsh on the face. Pumice was like the first ingredient. I expected it to be harsh, but I hoped I would see results and I did not. It really did nothing, absolutely nothing for my skin. So I decided to use it up as a 
body scrub. Once again, didn't uh, blow me away. It didn't do anything incredible or unique or different for my skin. I really was happy to just finish it and toss it in the trash. To me, it's really gimmicky and I would never repurchase it for the purpose of my face or my body. But I do like their coffee scrub that is pictured here that is for the body. It's a nice one. Now we are moving on to the Summer Box. Now this product was a add-on, meaning it was not a choice in the box. It was in a sale that I decided to pick up additionally. So these were the Volition Beauty Apple Cider Vinegar Peel Pads. These are also not peels. They are chemical exfoliators and they utilize apple cider vinegar, the skincare grade, not the food grade. So don't be popping up in your pantry, grabbing that bottle of vinegar and putting it on your face. I will find you. So with these, I got a set of 30, I believe for $24. And they originally retailed for like 60 some. So it was a fantastic deal. And I did used to love these. They are good. I typically, use them on the face and the chest and the back. If you have sensitive skin, they can flare up your redness a little bit. I did use 11 of them. They've got great ingredients, great results, and great value in this sale. Okay, and then we have the infamous dress. So this is the Laura Ruffle Strap Floral Chiffon Maxi Dress, and it retailed for $80. I got it for $28.99, and um, I'll show a video of me wearing it. And basically, once again, I ordered a small and it fits like an extra small. It's just too tight. It also just, like most clothes, doesn't look as flattering on me as it does on the model. I'm definitely going to steer clear of ordering clothes from FabFitFun and probably devices as well as we've learned. Now, another add-on that was not a part of a sale actually was in the box. Um, basically, there was one choice with two items that I wanted. And you can only choose one so if you choose a second one it adds some money to your box so that was the pottery barn diffuser in solstice now the scent when i first opened the bottle in my original video i said i wasn't a fan of it after putting it into the bottle and diffusing it i actually love it a lot it's very lovely warm a little bit musky comforting however the diffuser qualities of this that aspect of it is not functional it has a very weak scent throw and the only way you can smell it is by getting your nose right up here on the reeds it smells so good i'm so frustrated <laughs> it won't disperse into the air so especially for the price i was disappointed because this does retail for 59 dollars. of course i only paid 15 so at that price not a big deal but don't go looking for this item if you want the diffuser aspect of it now i can still smell it like i said when my nose is right up on it after all of this time of having it. But again, it's just, it's never dispersed beyond the base. You could utilize your own fragrance and use different reed sticks in here if you'd like, if you wanna repurpose it. Now, despite the diffuser qualities of it, it is also a standalone decor piece, which works beautifully with my aesthetic. I usually keep this within the bathroom. I love the way it looks. I will say though that the base and the reed sticks collect dust. And when I was pouring in the fragrance, some did drip on the side and it's sort of discolored it a little bit. And no matter what I use on it, I can't seem to get that off, but it kind of adds to the rustic feel. But I do really, really enjoy it. So I am gonna stick this at a four star. Thank you for your time. Okay, the Yumi Kim charging pad for $35. Girl, I was so disappointed. This thing was pure garbage. Looks beautiful, but honey, you're trash, <laughs> okay? This delivers a horrible charge. An hour will probably give you 20%. It causes the phone to get extremely hot, which can be damaging to your battery. You also do have to take your pop socket off. Originally in my video, I was able to set it on there and it connected the charge, but it lost it. And despite the pop socket, it's difficult for it to make a good connection. You have to set it exactly in the right spot. Unlike the MagSafe ones from Apple, which you just magnetize to the back. 
And despite it not working at all, so it doesn't matter to me, I'm still pressed about them not giving you a base. Like, if you're going to give me a device, give me the whole thing. It's just like when I got my iPhone 12 and they have these new fast chargers with them. You can still use the old chargers, but it's like their new thing, right? And it came with the cord, but not the base. And they're like, well, people have bases everywhere. It's fine. But the base takes a different connector. So like, so this is a one star, entirely disappointing. Basically, um, we'll get use out of the cord. The Michael Kors wallet for $78. She has held up beautifully. She is high quality made, sturdy, amazing. I mean, you would think this is brand new out of package. Again, it doesn't hold a lot of cards or um, cash. If you're someone that carries like a crap ton of change and that kind of stuff and you have like a million different debit and credit cards, it's probably not going to be for you because technically it's a passport wallet. It's very functional and slim, takes up very little space. I'm able to slide this on an inside pocket in my purse, which is fantastic and kind of unheard of for a wallet. I've gotten a lot of use out of that. One of my favorite items I've received the entire year. Um, so it gets five stars. Tom Sydney sunglasses retail for $58. I'm obsessed with these. They are super stylish, have a luxurious look. The cloth case is really useful. It protects it without being too bulky. The one thing I wish is that I had more of a use for them. Because I am a glasses wearer, it's very difficult to put sunglasses over top of glasses. One of my favorite things is the lightweight quality of it because it doesn't press down on my nose really hard. I broke my nose here, so it's pretty sensitive. On top of that, when you're wearing makeup, you don't want kind of like those indentations. And it's also just super comfortable. Like you kind of forget you're wearing them. These are more lightweight than my original prescription glasses. Five stars. The Silk Satin Pillow Sleeve. Oh, do we have tea on this one? This retails for $29.50. Okay, so what I didn't realize in my original video, and that's why these videos are so good. See, because we, we figure things out that we didn't see the first time. Okay, so this was the picture that was advertised when you were making choices for the box, right? And then here's what we received, and there are a few issues between the two. Number one is the photo shows a fully intact pillowcase, not a slip like what you receive. The color is also a milky white shade and this is mauve on the front and then cotton on the back. So point blank period, that is false advertising and that doesn't sit well for me. Now on top of that, low quality. I'm just gonna say it. This does not hold up well to use or being thrown in the wash. There are tons of threads that have been pulled and untied that are ruining the fabric and that is in multiple places. It's coming apart at the seams, it's dinged up really bad, and even the lettering that is printed on here is falling apart. It's also very susceptible to nicks and pulls. We have cats, so they tend to like to walk all over my pillow, so if one of their claws gets anywhere near it, it just, it just immediately nicks it. Now the reason I'm so hard on this is because I have a line of silk pillowcases that I adore and they retail for cheaper than the ones in FabFitFun. So this is by Proper Pillow Company and I have washed this the same amount of times that I have washed the silked one and it has held up beautifully. There are no pulls, no tears. This looks like what the picture showed on FabFitFun, right? Like when you order it versus what you get. This has a zipper closure in the back, so it's fully covered everywhere. It's an actual pillowcase and um, it's covered by this piece of fabric. This has been stained with black grease a bunch of times from my boyfriend. He's a diesel mechanic and I'm able to easily get it out every single time. And my cats walk all over this one too and they're not a single pull. It looks fantastic. 
Two other things to mention about the soaked one is that because it's a cover, it doesn't look very flattering on a pillow when you kind of lay it out on your bed because both sides of the pillow kind of plump out on the sides. Like you can just see them and then it's like the slip and it's just like, what happened there? And having a cotton back means that you're getting half of the benefits of the satin. It does help it not slip around on the bed as much as this one does, but let's be honest, the cons far outweigh the pros. I'm giving this a two star and that's being generous because I still get use out of it. I can still sleep on it. And it did introduce me into the world of satin pillowcases, which is what found me this company. So two stars, you're welcome. That's all you get. Okay, so the Isaac Mizrahi vase retailing for $28. This is a beautiful color palette. It's cute, it's chic, it's high fashion, and it's a unique piece that you can leave stand alone or dress it up with some flowers, pop some pencils in there, drink out of it, whatever you wanna do. She's weighty and she's handmade, five stars. Okay, so the Winky Lux Brow Pencil retails for $16. In my video, I thought this was completely new to me, but I did leave a little comment in the middle of the frame that I have tried this pencil before, just in different packaging. And I stated that I didn't like the shape and I didn't like the formula, um, which originally I didn't, and I don't like this product. It's a very hard, waxy formula, and that's just not what I like to work with when it comes to doing my brows. However, I did want to mention, I actually found my first brow product in that kind of teardrop shape that I actually like. And this is the Mellow Brow Definer. Does it have a shade? I suppose not. But it's a little more rounded on the top, and this has a gorgeous creamy formula. So in reality, like the shape actually works quite well because I can use the side to kind of get the flat lines right here and then just fill it in really easily. Is it my super preferred? Not really sure. I kind of go back and forth, but I do really like this one. The Winky Lux, unfortunately, it's just standalone the formula that I do not like and can't work with. This gets a one star. The Sponge Gel Hand Cream, retailing for $18. Look at this, you guys. Look, the skinny legend. I finished her. So I talked about how I don't like hand creams or I don't tend to utilize them a lot, which is true. They do get really dry. I try to do treatments on them every once in a while, but I did use this up all over my body, which is why I was able to use it up really quickly. The scent is incredible. This is my first time trying any sponge gel product, and I would love to see if they have this in a full actual body cream because I would totally buy it or in one of their like original little body wash things. This is delicious. Beautiful pina colada scent. Like I literally can't get any more out whatsoever. Oh. I need this in a perfume. Not only that, but it packs a punch in moisture and it's a thicker formula, so it really kind of replenishes everything and um, seals in that moisture throughout the day. And it is only slightly greasy. It's really not a bothersome thing and I hate feelings like that. Hand cream lovers, you guys will love this. Not too bad for the price. It's a little pricey, but packaging is just so cute too. Okay, the Kelly Cosmetics Foot Cream at $24. In my original video, I stated that this was more moisturizing than the hand cream, and I was wrong. It is not more moisturizing than the hand cream, and it's actually really not unique in its hydrating properties at all. It's just pretty typical. It is smoothing, not greasy at all. It has like a powdery type feel and finish to it. it has an amazing orange scent. My issue with this and why it is basically full is as soon as I put it on, I knew immediately it had menthol in it. Now this wasn't something that I was able to detect on, you know, when I put it on the top of my feet in the video, but I put it all over my body after the shower. It's a really uncomfortable experience to have something so cooling over your entire body after you get out of the hot shower. It's like putting Biofreeze on. It's just not, a fun experience. Obviously this doesn't say put all over your whole body, it says a foot cream and you really don't notice it there. But knowing me, I'm like, okay, if I'm putting cream on my foot, 
I'm putting it over my whole body. Like I'm trying to like get through this guy, right? So I ended up letting my boyfriend use this and he, like the psychopath that he is, actually enjoys the feeling of the menthol. So that's fine, his crazy ass can use it. He says it's like really cooling on his eczema. So that's fine, you can have it. So I'm gonna give that a two star rating. So I did do an add-on in this category. Again, it was from a customization choice. I had multiple items and you can only choose one, but I wanted two, so I paid extra. These are the Harper and Ari sugar, what are these? Exfoliating sugar cubes. And this is in the scent juice cleanse. These retail for $16, but I was able to add them on for only seven. So along with this scent, I've also smelled one or two others, they actually have them in TJ Maxx for a good price. So if you're looking for them, that's a good place to look. Anyways, while their scents are pleasant, they're quite strong and kind of artificial, so they're not my favorite, but that's just me being pretty picky. This one's just a very fruity smell. It's like pineapple, mangoes, oranges. Originally, I think there was, how many were in here? So it came with eight cubes. I have used six and a half as you can see. So I've got one and a half left. It is a luxurious shower experience. It has a creamy lather along with the exfoliation. Now the cubes are a little bit difficult to use in the shower. It's kind of just like, it's hard to get a good grip on them. If you just go in like this, it's gonna be very harsh on the skin, but if you crush it up and kind of use it that way, it can be too gentle. So again, just difficult to get a consistent scrub. One cube is more than enough for my entire body. So if one cube is too much for you, you kind of have to pinch off pieces of it. Um, I've kind of lost quite a few chunks just like on the floor of the bathtub and I ain't picking that up. It's difficult to explain, it's just not the easiest process. You're not just sticking your hand in a tub and then just, you know. It's also quite expensive for how many you get. I mean, $2 a cube is, whoa, it's a little much. There is another exfoliant that I received in this box that I enjoyed much more than this. Let's just say that. So these are getting three stars still. They are a good product. I just like other things more. Another add-on I got from a sale was the Copery Starry Eye Balm. This retails for $28 and I got it for $11. This is an incredible base for the under eyes. It's a staple in my makeup routine and it impressively minimizes the creasing from foundation or concealer and powder. It's fun to use. It's got a great glossy texture. It's dewy, it's hydrating. You're not only gonna get the benefit of how well your makeup applies over it, but you're gonna get a little bit of skincare benefit as well. It's got a nice rose water scent. It makes me want to buy so much more from Kopari and check out the line. If there's anything that you love from them that's like a staple for you, let me know down below. I am going through this quite quickly. I really don't wear makeup that often at all and like I'm really getting close to hitting pan. It's quite a thin pan in itself. I mentioned that the texture of it kind of freaked me out a little bit when I first got it and it still kind of does from time to time. So I'm gonna give this a four star. Then we have the Puff Me Volumizing Powder for your hair. This retails for 22 but I got it for eight. And I'm sorry to disappoint you but I've only used it one time and that was the day that I filmed that video. I had straight hair and I applied a couple spritz of it and it just made my hair feel gross and like gummy and I ended up having to put it up. I just wasn't happy with it. Most people I see that use this do it with curly hair, but I cannot be bothered to curl my hair. I've been looking into some really good heatless curl methods, like stuff that I can just sleep in overnight. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So I am very undecided on this product. I had to give it something now based on my first experience it would be a pretty bad rating, um, but I don't want to give up on it yet. So the Uncommon Canisters retail for $49. I love that we got two different sizes. They're high quality and they have multiple uses. I haven't put anything inside here yet. They've just kind of been sitting as decoration, but you could use them to put like dry cooking ingredients in, stationery, cotton pads and Q-tips. This copper and natural, I can't say that word, natural, Wood is really in nowadays. Not that it matters what's in or what's not. I'm just, I like it. 
My only problem with these is the tops are, well, don't worry you embarrassing me in front of my friends. Okay, let's try this one. Never mind. These get five stars. The Soya and Kayo scarf again. This is $85. It's extremely comfortable. Keeps me super warm. It's like a blanket, but it's part of the outfit, which is the best thing in the whole world. It's like a Snuggie, but make it fashion. The color is very neutral, which can make it kind of bland, but goes with a lot of outfits. So I'm getting really good use out of this, especially in the winter time when we were doing Christmas show rehearsals. This came with me everywhere. I loved reaching for this rather than a jacket. Five star rating. This gets five stars. Just putting that in there in case I don't want to put in the part where I say. The Jenny Bird Austin Cuff for $135. So this has a great weight to it, comes with, uh, or it goes with tons of looks and it's held up nicely. It does look like an expensive piece of jewelry. As far as its looks, they could not have designed it better for me. <laughs> not like they didn't design it for me, but you know what I mean, I chose it. I do have to link it on the tightest chain. I have small wrists, but there are people with smaller, so I like it to be like tight on there, but that leaves lots of options for if you have bigger wrists, they've got a lot of chains, a lot of links for you to hook to. You probably get an extra two inches, I'd say. Another five star item. Now I have the Frank Body Scrub coming in at a total of $16.95 because it's quite natural. It kind of smells like dirt, <laughs> but you get used to it after you use it for a while. There's fuzzies. That being said, it has 100% naturally derived ingredients. It's an intense scrub. It's mostly just exfoliants. There's not like any base or oil or anything like that, but I quite enjoy it. And it still leaves your skin moisturized and protected. If you aren't used to a scrub this intensive or you aren't used to exfoliating at all, um, I would definitely start slow with this and then move up in duration. I have keratosis pylorus and it really helps with that and improves skin appearance and texture and overall tone. It comes with a lot of product and the bag is waterproof. If you've never used a coffee scrub before, these can leave your shower and bathtub a little bit mucky. Now I wanna state something very clearly. Come here. Come closer. Okay. Please do not use this on your face. You will ruin it, okay? Thank you. Five stars. The Eight Other Reasons Clip Trio. Why did I get this? These retail for $32. They're very boutique-like. I like the design. The quality is good. They have a decent grip on the hair, but I just don't get a lot of use out of them. Like, I'm not out here putting a ton of clips in my hair. I kind of just like to let it do what it wants to do. Boom. Does that look cute? Who knows? These could be nice to use if you want to like section your hair off if you're like curling the bottom up to the top. Um, Cause like I said, the hold is really good. See, it's not going nowhere. I am going to give these a three star. The Laundress Crease Relief is $16. And this is another item I thought I was going to get zero use out of that I actually really enjoy and have found another use for it. Not only is this a wrinkle repair and reducer, and it really does work, it's kind of impressive, but this is an amazing scent booster. So I love spraying this in the dryer, um, kind of when my clothes have been like almost completely dry and they're just kind of fluffing up a little bit. It's super nice for that. My bed sheets, just all my clothes if they need a refresher, like treat this like a Febreze. It's lightly lavender scented, but mostly kind of that crisp clean linen scent. And I remember in the video I said that the sprayer was not giving me 100% of her effort. Well, now she is, girl, she has come here to play. And you get a lot of product, so I have an itch. So this also gets five stars. We've, geez, we've had a lot of five stars in this box. Go you, good thing. A $22 Hythe Tranquility Sleep Mist. And this is like the body cocoon, way simmered down on fragrance in a spray form. So it's, um, Lavender scented, everything was lavender. This is like the least scented than this, than the body cocoon. You can use this once again as a nice aromatherapy product. It does say you can spray it on your face 
and body to soothe the skin. I would be careful about doing that and using it as a pillow spray. Editing Hannah here, based on the ingredients, this is not formulated for your face, so I would completely not use it for that purpose. I would stick with the aromatherapy properties. There are tons of other facial toners and sprays that are better made for your face and aren't going to do more harm than good like this one is. So yeah, um, on to the video. The mister is nice. It's great for like around the room. How many stars does she get? Five. Lovely. Finally, the last thing in this box is the Beauty Crop Glow Mist. This goes for $19.50. As soon as I saw the bottle, I was like, there's no way this is going to work for my skin. But it actually comes out way lighter than it looks in the bottle. It's a rose gold shade. It looks really pretty on my skin tone. I'm actually wearing it today. The like lights that I have can kind of wash it out a bit, but it's a really subtle lip from within natural soft glow. So I have it on my cheeks here, on my inner corners, nose, and Cupid's bow. So I did apply this over a set face and it didn't apply bad. It wasn't like amazing, but it did blend out pretty well. I didn't put anything over top of it. And after a couple hours, it did kind of fade down a little bit. So I did put on a second layer. I'm sure if you set it, it would sit quite nicely, but I just kind of wanted to give it its own moment. But believe it or not, I'm actually giving this a four star. It was really fun to work with. I was surprised at the results. We are on the last box. We have the Unhide Blanket. Now this product was a add-on. This is the softest faux fur I've ever experienced. And you know what's nice about it is it has a slight bit of weight to it, so it's really comfortable when you're sleeping. This is a five by four, and I'm already five foot six. I do wish it was like another foot longer. One of my top favorite items I've received in my whole year of FabFitFun. Five stars for sure. The $70 Summer in Rose robe. So I'm gonna show you one of the robes that I already have. This is by Ralph Lauren and it's a medium. This is how much extra fabric is here. Trust me, there's a reason for this. I can fold it completely from one hip to the other hip and wrap it around like that. Sexy. Now this Summer in Rose one came in three different sizes. There was extra small, small slash medium, large slash extra large, and a plus size option. And mine is the smallest size, extra small slash small slash medium. But here is the fabric, okay? Can't go all the way to my hip, can't go all the way to my hip. Just where the rope tie sits is just, it's kind of uncomfortable. And then the sleeves are almost too short as well. I'm not very comfortable walking around my apartment in this. It shows everything, but this is just not a medium. Like I don't wear a large. And so you're telling plus size women that they're gonna be wearing three sizes larger than they actually do. Yeah, I'm just not really happy about the design. Now, despite that this robe is very comfortable, it's very soft, but I'm gonna give this a three star. It is like, I have to tell you, it's like one o'clock in the freaking morning right now. The Impressions Vanity Mirror, this goes for $45. Let me start by saying this is a great product and I love it and it gets a lot of use, but I've had some on and off issues with it. The slant to it, it wouldn't stay where I wanted it to, it would start to fall, but that has stopped now. And I put fresh batteries in it that day that I got it, which wasn't that long ago, what? A month ago, two months ago, max. Today when I was turning it on, it wouldn't fully stay on, it would turn on and then just slowly fade away and turn off. So I had to plug it in at the same time. Probably had this on for a total of a couple hours since I've gotten it. Um, I just don't, is that a normal wear and tear in battery? But other than that, the good things about it are that the lights are a great tone. I love the dimming effect on it. So you kind of hold it down and it dims, but I want that bitch bright. It's travel friendly, it's lightweight comes apart, remember the base from here. The little cord plug-in, it has this open so you can just easily kind of keep it there so it's not bent or anything if you have it fully back like this. And I do really love that it has both a battery and a charge option, as long as those things are functional. We'll have to figure that out. So this is a four stars. Now the Lily, Lily, Saduhi, headband is on my fight list. $49 for a headband. It looks cuter on camera than in person. It just doesn't look right. 
at all. And I can't even wear it to like pull my hair back like I normally do for my makeup because number one, ew. And number two, sometimes it has little parts that like poke me in the head. So this really does not get use at all for me and it gets a one star and it can go straight where it belongs. We are almost there guys, bear with me. The Muck Lux Cabin Socks. These retail for $25. So when I put on my robe in the morning, when it's freezing, I also have to have these on. They keep my feet and kind of the lower part of my legs really warm. The insides are soft, but they're not buttery like a lot of cabin socks or aloe infused socks. They are also bulky and like really bulky. They're thick. So they won't fit inside boots like I originally was wanting these for, but also the quality is a bit questionable because I do wear them a lot, but they're just not holding up well to daily wear and tear, and they just don't look like I got them two months ago. Again, love the designs, love the tassels, the grips on the feet are nice, and they're gonna get a three star. So the FRE cutting boards, the set of four retails for $19.99. I don't have them physically right here with me. I'll throw up a picture because they are currently running in the dishwasher. Now they're a great starter set. They're labeled. Again, you get four of them. They're dishwasher safe. They don't dull knives. They're thin and they don't harbor bacteria. They are plastic, so they won't last forever like a heavy duty, thick wooden or a marble cutting board. And they do kind of get the wear and tear from the knives. While they do have texture on the back, they aren't grippy like I originally thought, but I did get a tip from somebody that if you lay down a towel underneath it, that will help with that. So again, the FRE line is a great one to look for if you're moving out or starting over with kind of your kitchen set and you need some nice things. Hold on one second. Stop doing that. Be a good boy. Stop. The Wish Lip Scrub, $20. It's a nice scent. I get a hint of coconut and vanilla. Um, it claims to be vanilla bean. It's got small gritty exfoliants. Other than that, it's mostly moisturizers and oils. It's definitely not a super scrubby scrub. So if you like that, this probably isn't gonna be your favorite and that's why it's not my favorite. I love the Jeffree Star lip scrubs, number one, because they're super gritty, they're inexpensive, and they are edible, and he's got a ton of different flavors. I love the applicator, and I enjoy a lot of stuff from the brand. It's just simply not my favorite. Three stars. Now, the Noir scrunchie set has been probably the most used item out of everything in this video. It's a $25 set. I'm completely obsessed with them. I seriously use them almost every day. The elastic is high quality and so is the fabric, the different color options. These aren't, like, they're not gonna be super great to hold your hair on their own. I typically will put these on top of the, oh, Invisibobbles. Yeah, so I'll use the Invisibobbles and then um, I'll put these over top of that. But they really spice up my everyday bun. Five stars for sure, I'd give them six if I could. And then we have the Cure Get Well nail recovery, retailing at $20. Now this <laughs> is deceptive. I don't understand. I know what it's trying to do, but you're not fooling me. So this is supposed to be a nail treatment. You're supposed to apply it a couple times a week and your nails are healthier and look nicer and are stronger. No, no, no. When applied, this does hide nail imperfections, but it actually gives no treatment results and is entirely gimmicky. And I knew this from the ingredients and the smell. It smells like nail polish and it has no moisturizing or beneficial ingredients for what it says it's trying to do for your nails. It's like a thick, clear base coat. I've applied this, done the whole deal many times, and as soon as it chips off or you wipe it off, um, you realize that your nails look the exact freaking same underneath. You don't do what you say you do. Just stick with um, a cuticle oil. Comment down below which box was your favorite. If you were able to choose one, which would you choose? We're going to talk about what's on my face really quickly and then I'm going to go to sleep. We've got the Touch and Soul No Pore Bone Primer, Elf Camo CC Cream in Light 210 Neutral, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in number two medium, and Hourglass's Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. 
I applied Rare Beauty's Liquid Blush in the shade Bliss. And the blush I put over top of that is from Lunar Beauty, the Moon Prism palette. I used Stargaze right here. It's like the perfect match for the Rare Beauty one in powder form. Of course, these two products that we talked about, the Kopari Starry Eye Balm and the Beautycraft Glow Milk in the shade Blind Date. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number five ivory. I've got the Dose of Colors Baked Browns palette. I used the these two shades here, this light brown and this dark brown. This is Deserted and this one's Rock Bottom. And then this collaboration palette between Blink and BoxyCharm that's super old, but this shimmer here is gorgeous, called Vanadini. This shade, the dark brown from the Brow Bar, set that with the e.l.f. Lash and eyebrow gel. They're both the same, so I just use either or. But my cult favorite Stretch X Lash Effect Mascara from Touch and Soul. MAC Fix Plus Urban Decay All Nighter. The lips is from Color Lab Cosmetics that was made for Tricoshi, my um, beauty school. The shade is called Touchy Subject. It's a really nice formula though. Doesn't last super long. It smells like chocolate. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.